In this demonstration, I'll show you how to find the equation of a right bisector. A right bisector is a line that is perpendicular to, the, to a line segment and divides it into two equal parts. The question reads, two schools are located at the points P and Q on a town map. The school board is planning a new sports complex to be used by both schools. The board wants to find a location that is equidistant from the two schools. Use an equation to represent the possible locations for the sports complex. We'll start off by plotting these two points, P at negative, four, at negative 1 and 4. Here's negative 1 and 4. That's point P and Q, which is at 7 and negative 2. 7 and negative 2, and up here we have negative 1 and 4. And what I'll do next is connect these two points with a line. There we go. And the sports complex, if it were located right in the middle, the midpoint, that would be equal distant. So let's find out what the midpoint is. The midpoint formula is as follows. M is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. Since this is our leftmost point, this will be our first point of focus and this will be our second. That being said, that will be x1, y1 and this will be x2, y2. So let's substitute those values into our formula. x1 is negative 1 plus 7 over 2 and 4 plus negative 2 over 2. Negative 1 plus 7 is equal to 6. Divided by 2 is 3. 4 minus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So our midpoint is at 3 and 1, as it appears. However, if we were to draw a perpendicular line from this point, you could argue that the complex could be here, 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 or anywhere along this red line. So how, to, how do we quantify this red line? Well, you'll notice something that this red line is perpendicular to this pink one, meaning that it's at 90 degrees. So if we find the slope of this pink line and we take its negative reciprocal, we actually will get the slope of this red one. Let me demonstrate what I mean. First, the slope of the pink line. Slope of PQ. The formula for slope is M is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And our y2 value is negative 2. And our y1 value is 4. So negative 2 minus 4 over, I'll just create some more space here, x2, which is 7, minus negative 1. And we end up with negative 6 over 7 plus 1, which is equal to 8, and that is equal to negative 3 over 4. And that makes sense because this slope is going downwards and this is a negative number, so we can assume that it is correct. So to find the slope of this red line, you must take the negative reciprocal of negative 3 over 4. The reciprocal means that this needs to be flipped. So this number goes up and that number goes down. And also, since it's the negative reciprocal, you take the negative of that. So it's, since it's negative now, it becomes positive. So the slope of the red line will be 4 over 3. The template for a straight line equation is y is equal to mx plus b. And this equation right here that we'll create will model this red line. The slope is 4 over 3, so I'm going to replace this m with 4 over 3 
plus b. And to find out our y-intercept, we, I mean, we can visually eyeball it, but we don't want to take any chances. So the best thing to do in a situation like this is to use another point on this red line and substitute it for y and x. But the only point that we actually have is the midpoint. And so that's what we're going to have to use. Our midpoint is at 3 and 1. That's going to serve as our x. That's going to serve as our y. And our y is 1, 4 over 3 times 3 plus b. It appears that these 3's will cancel out, leaving us with 1 is equal to 4 plus b. 1 minus 4 is equal to b. And therefore, our b is equal to negative 3. That's a lot better than eyeballing it. So I'm going to start by substituting this back into our growing formula. y is equal to 4 over 3 x minus 3. This highlighted formula represents this red line and anywhere along this red line will be equal distant from school P and school Q. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.